Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see a few more clean function. So so far we have seen the string clean function, geographic uh, string function, and today we will see some mis miscellaneous function. Those are very important and it's very easy to use. So out of that we have the first function that is the now function. Now function actually it skews out a current date. So if you want like if you want to populate last update date column with the current date, then you can use this now function. The read database function is used to read the table from the given database in a given schema. And the reject give you the appropriate message for the rejection. So you can use this function in our mapping. So let's start. So we have acquired the right law. Go to the mapping. Select any mapping. I'm selecting uh, address as a mapping. But before that, what we are going to do? So first of all, uh, what we'll do? We will see how to use uh, a, a database function that is a read database. For that, we have created one table that is called wrk underscore state that is a work table and the name of table is state which has some record so we will use this table for the lookup purpose or the we can call it as a reference database so whenever we insert a record into the address table we will use the lookup for the particular for the state for now uh typing i'm just deleting this function in order to show the demo for the demo for the read function so let's start go to the function click on that go to the miscellaneous functions read database so this is the function just double click on this um, dots you will get the extension the first thing you need to give the table name so you can create constants or you can have one more table from which you are going to give a table name or the, you can add a column in the landing table but for this case I will add a constant with a work state. I will assign this value to this column table name then the lookup column so if you go to the database you can see the name of column is state underscore nm so that is the lookup column so we will create one more column state underscore nm so we got the state uh, lookup column then the value we will pass this value whatever we are getting in the landing table so we know table name column name and the actual value then the return column so as we know we have to give if you have the multiple column like the state description or state code we can return all those columns in our in this function like the return column one return column two but for now we have only one column so we will return that only that is nothing but the state name just give this and so here what it it gives the flag so if a record is found means what does it means if lookup is found for that record then this record found flag will be yes if you enable the cache like here we can enable cache for the better performance then it will be true otherwise it is false and the return column what are the value actual value in that column so I'm going to map this value to this state. Okay, for that I just remove the current mapping. And this is, we are done. So now let's test this functionality. In order to test, let's see what are the data into the landing table. So we know it's California, New York, California, Massachusetts, Georgia and uh, it's uh, it's one more um, Philadelphia kind of state in the USA so so let's go and see 
the records in the address table we don't have any record even we don't have in the client however in the landing tables like the address what we have we have any that is not in the lookup table present we have the ny ca and that is california so let's run and we will check whether these two record get inserted or not go to the let's run a stitch off I am doing refresh so yeah there are a few record got so this is just it is passed to the landing to staging then we will execute this record got inserted let's try to run the load job we'll first run the client all our CRM record I just verified and this is done so we have inserted 21 let's check those record in the address So if you see all those record with NY and CA are got correctly populated but those record which is having NE as a value are populated with a null. So that means we are doing our proper lookup in the address uh, in, into the new work table that is WRK state. So this is the one of the way of using uh, any existing table as a reference where you can do the lookup and the populate the corresponding records. Now let's uh, have a demo on the uh, register uh, reject function. So if you see the reject function, it uh, it nothing but we it will accept one as a reject uh, the reason for the record reject and the, what is expected value or you can give the any message for that. So in order to see that we can modify this function little bit okay so what we'll do uh, we will add one condition here so what condition if like uh, if the postcode is null then give some message or the, it is kind of mandatory field for in that case so what we'll do I will use one function and check uh, for the whether it's a null or not null. so for that we have some other functions logical function is uh, empty okay is null or is empty so if postcode is empty okay so that means postcode is mandatory it's empty we will give some message and that is nothing but uh, like this we will use the reject function and it accept the two message okay so if it is there then we will choose one more function which will actually okay so for the constant postcode is mandatory or yeah postcode is mandatory we will just assign this value okay then we will create one more constant
kindly uh, null or empty record found for postcode so when you add this we will add to this okay so this is one string we have got okay so now we have to choose appropriate message whether this message will go or correct string will go that definition so you can go and use the choose string so if you say value 1 value 2 and whether it's a true or false for the case sensitive no, not compare string uh, we have to use the choose string so if you see this is boolean means if record is empty okay then use the string okay that means record is empty and populate extra field so just for the testing we are doing this so if it's null then populate this field so let's try to run the state job but before that we have to clean the tables so i'm going to the soap ui go to the clean table let's clean address I will clean client as well. Now again run the stage up to see whether uh, how the records get rejected in order to see that we can run this and we know we have applied this to the address. So if you see the reject reason is like this. If you see so once one record got rejected uh, it's not popular in the further the postcode is mandatory value null or empty record found for that record so you will get this message for the particular those records so this is how or you can go to the database side and you can check the reject table for that particular corresponding to that staging table for the address I'll go and check uh, not cells it's a CRM so if you see you can see those record so so this is the way of the using the reject function and the read database now if suppose you want to use that now function go to that go to the miscellaneous function select now and it's very simple just take that and do the assignment like uh, for example last updated you can use that it is already but yes you can delete this existing map and you can add this last updated so this is the way uh, so whenever like you are calling the mapping from the cp api it's always good to use this now function here instead of sending a new date object into the java code I hope uh, this session is helpful for you. If you have any question on those things, functions, just let me know in the video below. Thank you for watching the video.